Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amato. Today is the 27th of February and this time I have some news for you regarding Assassin's Creed as apparently future Assassin's Creed titles will have a greater focus on the modern day timeline than Assassin's Creed Unity. Now this was suggested by Ubisoft. It wasn't 100% confirmed or anything like that. But yes, we do have some comments from the Assassin's Creed lead writer Darby McDevitt. And basically, he was speaking during a Ubisoft community live stream. And his ex favourite modern day section, which is the town in Brotherhood, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but when you go there as Desmond, and that may inspire present day sections in future instalments. And he had this to say, quote, That only came about because we were able to reuse Montegrione from AC2. So the future, and this is the plan, is to smartly reuse things so we have a more robust modern day. Now with Devitt, who apparently worked as lead writer for Revelations AC4 and the short film Embers, which is really good, as well as the PSP and DS, DS spin-offs, Bloodlines and AC2 Discovery, revealed that Unity apparently did feature more modern day moments than it did in the final version at the start. Obviously some stuff was removed and apparently people were left disappointed by the rather brief sassage into the present day in Unity, which is just a couple of quick cutscenes, which I found strange. Most people I've spoken to seem to think that the modern day sections in Assassin's Creed can take a long walk off a short cliff, but perhaps I'm wrong. Do let me know below. However, he went on to say, Quote, we always have to have more modern day, but we really have to be smart about how we do it. There was a plan for a little more modern day in Unity. A plan. Nothing that was actually cut. The thing that you, with Unity was that it was a completely fresh game on a completely fresh generation. So creating any kind of modern day was, is a pretty huge ask. To create a city, for instance, or even part of a city, would require six months of work by many, many artists, designers, modellers. And then you need gameplay systems that didn't feel like you were just fencing. Now... He then also revealed that he'd been working with other Ubisoft writers on the future of the franchise, including the mysterious Forerunner race, the first civilization, who we've kind of seen a fair bit, but they're still very much shrouded in mystery at this point. And he went on to say, quote, I particularly love the lore. I've been working the past two years with all the other writers on getting a great document together on the first civilization. We have created 500, 600, 700 years worth of history that we hope to start teasing out for the next 10, 20 years or however long we're around. As I see it, there are always two ways to go about this. You could always make the first civilization very mysterious, to never really go into what they were. But at a certain point in the games, you got to a point where you knew they were real. So why not go the other direction and treat them as real history? So me and the other writers have been, as a side project, to make sure all the future projects have this cool timeline to go from, creating this huge first tip history, with all the big moments and a ton of small moments you never thought of. So every future writer can say, I want to reference Juno again, or Minerva, and see where she was at a specific date, and how far along was this first Civ human war going? Now, as I said, this seems a bit odd to me, because he's giving the suggestion that people were disappointed by the lack of modern day in Unity. But the modern day is by far the weakest part of Assassin's Creed. Very throwaway in the early games. It was better in 3 when you played as Desmond. There were actually stuff to do, puzzles and stuff. And when I say better, it means it was just more than just walking around and waiting for cutscenes to trigger. It wasn't actually that interesting. It kind of, you know, I could have easily done without it. And in 4, it, well, it was very forgettable. It was basically just sort of. Again, wandering around to waking, waiting for cutscenes to trigger. Which is not all that interesting. So if they're going to have actual gameplay like they did in AC2, but actually populate it with enemies and people and stuff like that, then cool. That sounds okay. But the opinion of most people, and I'm looking at some comments now, that seem to back up this, is as I said earlier, most Assassin's Creed fans think, you know, the modern day sections can do one. The series will be much stronger without them. Yes, we all know that they're actually in an animus, have a, you know, have references to that, that's fine, but we don't have to keep going back to the modern day. And if you do, just have it as a cutscene, that's fine. Don't have me walk around, then a cutscene triggers, then I walk around, then a cutscene triggers, then I go back into the animus. That's just silly. Just have the cutscenes, then I go back into the animus. That's better than just pointless busy work. But, yes, they need to find a better way to do the modern day, because at the moment, eh, don't want more modern day as it is. But if they're going to improve it, 
then I'm open to it, but we'll see. Now, them beefing up the first civilization definitely good. Hopefully, this huge document they've got um, will actually help future games. Maybe it would even be released when the series is done. That would be nice. Um, but it's always good to have something like that to go, oh, da 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 da. They can have this cool little um, links to them and other games all throughout the series, and that'd be really cool. So, yes, I'm not sure if I agree with more modern day. I'd rather they didn't do that. But if they're going to improve it, maybe, but only if they improve it, because modern day is easily the weakest part of Assassin's Creed, followed pretty closely by the combat. Yes. It was improved in Unity, don't get me wrong, but yes, one game is not enough to make up for the counter system that broke the game for five games or whatever it was. Anyway, that's me done for this video, and I'll see you next time.